Hello grade nines and welcome back to Tuma Mina teaching. You are tuned in for your second lesson in term one for EMS. In the previous lesson, we had a look at economic systems and the economic problem. You were also introduced to our first economic system, which is the planned economy. Just a reminder, if you are new to Tumamina, please go and revise our previous lesson so that you are certain you are up to date with the new work we will do today. In fact, I know you will enjoy all of our lessons. So why don't you subscribe to our channel so that you are always updated with the new videos we have to show you. In this lesson, this is what you can expect to learn. I'm sure you're ready to work, so let's do this. In the previous lesson, we were introduced to the economic systems and economic problem. Can you still remember what these two things are? Pause this video and discuss with your classmates what the economic problem and economic systems are. If you are alone at home, you can pause this video and recall the information aloud so that you are certain of your work. Could you recall the definitions of these two terms? I'm sure you did. Let's go and have a look at them. An economic system is a system that a country chooses and uses to allocate resources for production and distribute goods and resources for the consumption of citizens. The economic problem poses a challenge on how to meet the endless needs and wants of people in our country, but with limited resources to offer. In the previous lesson, we had a look at planned economies. Let's revise what this economy is about. A planned economy is an economic system in which the government makes all the decisions about the production and consumption of goods and services in the country. Well done, grade nines. Let's move on to our second economic system, which is called the market economy. Another name for this economy is capitalism. The market economy is considered an unplanned economy in which land, property, and businesses are owned by private people and not the government. Do you remember Kamwa from Ikasi Kofu Company? This economic system would be perfect for him and many other entrepreneurs. Why would I say this? Kamwa would decide on how many coffee beans he would like to buy and which type of coffee he would like to sell to his consumers. This is definitely not like the planned economy. Do you agree? We saw that in a planned economy, the government owned all the resources, businesses and property. But in a market economy, the citizens take the lead. The USA, England and Japan are all examples of market economies. Let's look at the characteristics of the market economy. Firstly, the aim of businesses in a market economy is to make a profit. Secondly, entrepreneurs decide what goods and services to produce and how much to charge for them based on what they think people are willing to pay. Thirdly, businesses and people have the opportunity 
to borrow money from banks and investors. As we did in the first lesson, let's draw out the keywords. For the first characteristic, the keyword profit will be used as it reminds us that all businesses make a profit in the market economy. For the second characteristic, we will use the word entrepreneur, which reminds us that entrepreneurs decide which goods and services to produce and how much they want to charge for it. And finally, the third keyword we will have a look at is money, as it reminds us businesses and citizens have the opportunity to borrow money from banks and investors. So let's summarize the three keywords that reminds us about the characteristics of the market economy. The first one is profit, second, entrepreneurship, and third, money. Now let's take a look at the advantages of a market economy. Market economies are very flexible and can adapt quickly to change. Secondly, individuals can choose what they want to produce and at what price. Finally, consumers can choose from a wide range of products. As you already saw, the keywords popped up on the screen as we looked at the various advantages. From here onwards, they will continue to pop up as we progress through the work but it is your responsibility to summarize them. We've already looked at the advantages of market economies, but we still need to consider the disadvantages of them. The first disadvantage is that there is a large difference between the wealth of citizens. Some are rich while others remain poor. Secondly, the focus is on profit rather than the welfare of citizens. Thirdly, businesses make products available to consumers that can harm them. Are you ready to practice what we have learned? Let's put this to the test. The following activity states, complete the sentences by filling in the missing words below. We will have a 10 second timer up on the screen so that you can complete this activity. Pause this video if you think it might take a little bit longer. That way you will complete it effectively. Are you ready? Three, two, one. I think that was a very easy activity. Do you agree? Let's see if you got all the answers correct. Great job, grade nine. You have just completed your second lesson for term one. I'm very proud of you. In the next lesson, we will have a look at our third economic system, which is the mixed economy. Remember to test what you know in our self-marking assessment. That way you'll be certain that you really understand your work well. Until next time.